Special Situations, Word Permit Holders. Welcome to our lecture for Special Situations. When it comes to Word Permit Holders, what to do if your permit has expired? The situation that you're going to encounter, in which you have lost your status and you're still in Canada, and your permit expired before you could apply for a new work permit or for a study permit or for or to stay in Canada as a visitor. Also, another reason might be that you didn't respect the condition of your permit. In some cases, you may apply to restore your status, but we need to emphasize the word in some cases. To apply, you must Apply within 90 days of losing your status. Keep meeting the requirements for your stay. Have met all the conditions listed on your permit. And pay your fees. There's a restoration fee that is a 200 at present. A work permit fee of 155. And the open work permit holder is a hundred dollar if you are applying for an open work permit. If you are eligible, follow the instructions on the apply to extend or change our, your location on your job work permit. But you need to remember that you need to use the form 5710 and under section 3, I'm applying for one or more of the following. You need to select both. You need to select an initial work permit or work permit with a new employer and a restoration of your status as a worker. In those situations when you try to restore and you're going to be working in a new location, okay? You need to give details of your situation and the reason you stay in Canada longer than allowed. Have to be a very convincing reason and uh, with some evidence, of course. There is no guarantee that IRCC will accept your application. On your application, you must clearly and completely explain how you lost your status. Again, you have to explain the reason why you lost your status and you have to have so if you have document proving the situation better if your family members also lost their status each must apply and pay to get it restored so if you are the parent your spouse and your dependent children that are in canada automatically also lost their status they need to apply on their own too you may stay in canada while icrc make the decision of your application but you aren't allowed to work until your status has been restored. That's very important. You can stay in Canada waiting for that. For example, the work permit expire. You applied for get the status restored. You can remain in Canada, but you cannot work in Canada. If you work in Canada, then you are in violation of the law and that's gonna make you ineligible for restoration. And basically you're looking for trouble. So if you, we hope we don't you don't get to that point but if you're in that situation you need to stop working and just wait until the case is processed and you have the final answer from IRCC. An officer will review your application and tell you what else you need to do and you want to travel outside of Canada and then re-enter that's another situation. In that case a work permit is in a travel document you have to remember that it doesn't give you the right to travel to Canada Along with your permit, you need either a temporary resident visa, TRV, or an electronic travel authorization, ETA. Having an ETA or a visa along with your work permit doesn't guarantee that you that ICRC will let you back into Canada. You must show the border service officer that you meet all the requirements before they'll let you re-enter. Okay? So that's the way it is. You need to make sure that you're still in compliance. You st if you're a student or if you're a worker, your job is still there. If you want your vacation, you need to explain that you go on vacation. If you can get even a letter from the employer that you're going on vacation and want to just to cross to, the, to, the, to leave the country and try to come back, then that would be better. But you need to always have documentation to prove to the officer what you're trying to enter at the border that you still meet the requirements of the condition of your work permit. Okay? If you're from a visa exempt country, along with your work permit, you need a valid passport and an ETA if you plan to travel to Canada by air. You don't need an ETA if you're traveling by land or sea.
for example using car, bus, train or boat. If you receive your initial work permit before August 1st, 2015, you need to apply for an ETA if you haven't already done so. If the ETA corresponds to you, you need to apply for one. Okay. If you receive your initial work permit on or after August 1st, 2015, you already have an ETA. ICRC automatically will issue one to you when they approve your initial work permit. It's going to be valid for five years or until your passport expires, whoever comes first, okay? And you need to see the information in your letter of introduction for details. The information is provided when you get a work permit. And we're talking about August 1st, 2015, because that's when the, the new system for the ETA started, and they start issuing that, okay? So keep that in mind. Renewing your work permit. If IRCC issued you a renewed work permit on or after May 1st, 2017, IRCC will automatically issue you an ETA as well. If IRCC issued you a renewed work permit before May 1st, 2015 and you don't already have an ETA, you will need to get one before you return to Canada by air. Okay, so we'll use a so reminder about the work permit renewal. If you're a lawful permanent resident of the United States, person with a green card, you need an ETA to fly to Canada. If you receive your work permit before August 1st, 2015, you need to apply for an ETA if you don't already have one and plan to travel from and return to Canada by air. If you receive your work permit in after August 1st, 2015, the RCC will automatically issue an ETA for you. Your ETA is linked to your passport, that you, specifically the passport that you use to apply for a work permit. When flying to Canada, you must travel with a valid passport you use to apply for a work permit and you prove a status in the US, like a green card. You don't need an ETA when driving to Canada or, or arriving by train, bus, or boat. However, you will need to provide proof of your U.S. lawful permanent resident status, such as your green card. Okay? Keep that in mind. You need a valid visa and a valid work permit to return to Canada to work. You don't need a valid visa if you return directly from a visit only to the United States or St. Pierre or Miquelon. Remember, this is for people with visa required countries. You must reapply for a visitor visa if your visa has expired or was only valid for a single entry to Canada to make sure that it's a multiple entry or single entry. If you have a single entry and you travel, you're going to need to renew your visa, okay? Starting May 1st, 2017, the of citizens of selected visa required country will receive an ETA when they renew the work permit, okay? The ETA is a, a electronically linked to the passport you use to renew your permit and is valid for five years or until your passport expires. You can only use the ETA again when you fly or transit through Canada by air. You will receive a letter from ACRC uh, with information about the ETA number and expiration date. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you already have a valid visitor visa, you can use it to travel to Canada until it expires. A visitor visa will let you travel to Canada by plane, car, bus, train, or boat. Okay. So that's the difference with the visa. You can travel in any means to Canada. But when it comes to the ETA, it's basically focused on traveling by air. Okay? It can be a flight to Canada or be transit through Canada. You need to keep that in mind. U.S. citizens. United States citizens should carry a valid U.S. passport when flying to or transiting through the Canadian airport, the right travel documents when driving or arriving in Canada by train, bus, or by boat, find out about Canada's remittance condition if you're applied to extend your status and you need to travel outside Canada before you get your new permit because of an emergency. Okay. And now we're going to deal with another cases. Work permit when you need the uh, fast processing. 
So not everybody is eligible for this fast processing work permit, but there are two ways you can qualify for two week processing. That's how fast it is. Instead of months, it can be done in two weeks. In the case that you are exempt from the labor market input assessment LMIA process and you, your job is under the skill type zero as a manager or A as a professional of the National Occupational Classification NOC and your work permit will be employer specific and the employer has submitted an offer of employment using the employer portal and pay the employer compliance fee. That is one of the conditions in which you're going to get a work permit process in two weeks. The other situation will be that the employer has a positive LMIA through the global talent string of the temporary foreign worker program and you applying for an employer specific work permit. So there are two situations where you can get a work permit in two weeks. So it's important that you read the information and okay, become familiar with it. For the spouses and dependents, your spouse, common law partner and dependents are also eligible for two week processing. They must apply at the same time as you. In this case, they have to apply at the same time for this fast processing uh, step. How to get two week processing? ICC will process your application in two weeks if you apply from outside of Canada, apply online, submit a complete application, identify yourself as part of the global talent stream if applicable using the Come to Canada tool when you apply. You can use a tool or and send with your application if it applies to you an upfront immigration medical examination and an upfront biometric uh, fee. The yeah, biometric resource need to be submitted before the two weeks pass, okay? So you need to do all those steps in order to get your two week processing. Note, IRCC will process your application on the normal processing time if it is not eligible for two weeks processing. Incomplete, submit it as a paper application, submit it in Canada as part of an international experience Canada application. So, these are the reasons why they, they will not process it fast. So keep that in mind, and this is the end of the lecture. Thank you very much.